greetings. This is one of my vintage violet rays. I wanted to share with people who seem to be interested in some of these vintage units. And this is one I gifted to myself for Solstice 2012 because it has this dandy double eye electrode which sends frequencies through both of your eyeballs into both lobes um, of the brain at the same time and then creates a third resonance uh, in the corpus callosum which cleans the pineal and you know all those glands that activate in the Sushumna area of our brain for the cosmic consciousness and it did um, open my pineal it cleaned out my pineal. I had a headache for about So, um, we did a little restoration on here. Um, this is an original, beautiful double helix cord. Um, I did replace this. It's not turn of the century Bakelite. You know, it's from eBay. And this is a new kind of fabric coated look-alike and you'd have to replace the wand handle here so it did stop working uh, this is the um, body contact probe which a client would hold in their hand so that the current would go throughout their body and then when the practitioner does their work the current comes to their hands of the person working on the person holding the rod and I do this with my clients and sparks fly from my fingertips it's a lot of fun <laughs> um, so I'm gonna turn this on and see if I can activate I'm gonna go through each of these tubes it's not a very good camera sorry about that and we'll fire them up it's a little on the loud side but it's a really strong motor came from Switzerland. This first tube here is actually for the tongue and I do not know why. This one is actually for the vagina, for the yoni. This one is for Cauterizer. This is kind of broken, but they do have platinum wires. This is a This is, I believe, the Xenon. I'm not sure if you're even going to be able to see it. It's just so beautiful. It's a baby powder blue and a rare spiral. Can you see that Xenon? Urethra for urine, urinary tract infection, the urethra area. And I think this is the same, um, not looking at it, sorry. Those are both very similar, very small. This is for the spine, to go along the east side of the spine on the spinal erectus. And this is for the neck, the little leg, or the arm, or any curved area. Specifically more for the neck, throat, and glands. Um, I'm guessing this is like for a mole or something really small mushroom. And this is a nice sized mushroom like some of the mirror ones come with. And this is like a what I call the ballpoint zapper in my kit. And you can even see this neon tube lighting up way up here. This is a test tube. <laughs> and the mushroom is a general all-purpose large surface area gentle. You like the And there's a double eye. And that I'm really not sure unless it's the eyeball. 
very thin. This is for the prostate. Big one though. <laughs> this one also has been on. It is a condenser electrode. Metal in it. I have one with argon and xenon mixed. It was bright blue and I accidentally broke it. I cried, yes. I'm going to turn it off now and I have another kid I'd like to show you at some point. Thanks for watching. So here is the other vintage kit I wanted to show you. And this one a friend found for me at an antique store and I got it for only $80 and I just love it. I restored some of the wiring. This one is original. Um, this was replaced. And this wire was replaced. And it's a little different in that this has to come on, on and off every time. So there's a lot of wear and tear on it. I have some glue. It doesn't look really pretty. And this is the 110, or it moves over to 220. But I have this tape down because sometimes it accidentally gets moved. And one thing that's really unique about this one is the ozone inhaler. And I was able to find oxygen tubing very cheaply to restore. Um, this is the blown glass. This is the oxygen tubing right here. And inside here you can put a cotton ball with pine oil, which is good for the pineal. And then you would inhale it through the nose. Or through the mouth and when you turn it on you hold it here and this causes more ozone to be produced and then after you exhale then you squeeze this bulb which has oxygen tubing as well and the ozone comes out right here it's going to be hard to demonstrate without a camera person i will try however in a moment um and then um, there is a special secret compartment here. It has a roller, and that roller has some neon in it. We'll try to get that going in a minute. Um, with this body contact probe. But, but first, let's take a look at the ozone inhaler. So, when I hold it right here, it causes moss ozone and then put my nose right here exhale inhale squeeze the bulb ah, but I sniffed twice it would be exhale squeeze the bulb <laughs> squeeze the bulb inhale so that is ozone shot and I'm going to turn this off and uh, change the electrode Okay, so here we are with the body contact probe metal rod, and I'm going to turn it on. All right, so here we have this roller with both argon and neon. Just love that. And we have a cone. The neon lights up so quickly. And we have a work cauterizer with platinum rectal for prostate, spinal. Um argon heart. I mean, spiral for the heart, Y for the throat, glands, and the curved area, for the tongue, don't know why, here, 
yoni, vagina, general, gentle, large mushroom, and then there's your ozone. Alright. Thank you for watching The Violet Ray, invented by Nikola Tesla.